Uh, he's uh, yeah, he's a very talented player. This is I'll focus on in round three. Um, I think we should go for Adriasian against uh, Hikaru Nakamura to, to start things. Yeah, so Nakamura is one of the twenty. I mean, both twenty-eight. Uh, Strong leading pack on 100% right now. It starts as the Italian game. Uh, very, very topical, very trendy opening choice. Uh, I've been playing this for years myself, and just over the last five, six years, everyone's been at it. And uh, every time I see Hikaru play, he seems to put a new spin on black setup. He's maybe the world leading expert on the black side of this opening. And here we go. You push forward in the center. We see a quick trade of pawn still a very theoretical position. This is all still well known stuff. Black looks like he's solved all of his problems. Black has a nice pawn structure, very active pieces. However, the white knights are dancing forward towards that black king. A knight on the f5 square is extremely strong once it lands there. And Nakamura, look at this. Still in his opening preparation, he preempts a knight jump into f5 by retreating his queen. The queen would have been attacked anyway. So now the white knight jumping into a 5 or 1. Hikaru trades some more pieces off the board. 
86, B3, and now I think he's going to go 97, quite simply. Just get rid of that problem knight. There we go. Played, and now you've got all these weaknesses as white. Your attack suddenly doesn't really exist. I think uh, you know, Kara is in great shape now. Now you can take on F5, double on the E file. I think you've got to be very, very happy here as you Kara. You can see Anish Giri in the background uh, has crushed. Sam's Shankar. So um, Sam not able to keep pace here on the 100%. Yeah, I completely agree with everything you said about the uh, the game in front of us. Lawrence Hikaru, it feels like the, the, the quality uh, that he has is now shining through. He survived the attack, which was scary. He simply eliminated uh, all of White's attacking pieces, especially the departure of that White Knight in F5. That signals the end of White's initiative. Andreasian went all in, pretty much uh, kind of fizzled out. He's just left with ruins. Look at that white pawn structure. Look at the double B pawns. They are going to drop off long term. Look at the white double F pawns. Not impressive either. What is the white queen doing now on G3? You've got to ask her the question. She's completely stuck. She can't make a single move. White's rooks can't make a single move either. They're both tied down defending pawns. It's pretty much Zugzwang. Any move that white makes is going to worsen his own position. Um, it's rare to see this in the middle game, with Queen still on the board. Andreas Jan desperately tries to sacrifice a pawn. He pushes to b4. He's trying to open up his rook on a1. He's trying to get one open file at least to break through to get to black's position, but I think it's just not going to work. Look how classy this is from Nakamura. He grabs a pawn. He says, yes, you can get active with one piece. I'm going to shut you down yet again. Swap the queens off. It's just a very consistent strategy. Swapping off your opponent's best pieces. Just removing any danger, any risk from the position Hikaru is so good at doing this and surely he's going to win the same game. The evaluation bar says the advantage is less than it previously was, but it's safer than it previously was. And uh, I think that is exactly what Hikaru was looking for. Look at this again, h5, locking down the king side. Black is a pawn up on the other flank, so white taking any risk at all. Sooner rather than later, white's pawns are just all going to drop off. Textbook yeah. game. Yeah. Uh... You know, as soon as uh, Bishop B3 and Bishop B3 happened, I I, I felt the the energy slip away for Andreasian. Hikaru is just not going to make a mistake here. There's just no way. A mop up job. He's going to take on on F2, take on F5. He's going to take eventually on B3. He's going to be. I think he's going to do it this way as well. How many pawns up is he going to be here? He's already sort of. Three pawns potentially. Yeah. Okay, Rook A8 yeah. trying to set up some mating um, attacks, but yeah, he's gonna take on F5. He comes back now. There's no issue for the king. The king comes to G6. Andreasian uh, has had enough, rightly so. Let's go to. I was gonna say let's go to Magnus Carlsen, but game's already ended.